channel today I have a tutorial for you using the balms meat matte nude palette this was requested by a subscriber of mine and I was supposed to get this up last month and I totally spaced so I thought I would start March off in my first tutorial I'm gonna run down the products that I used in the tutorial it's just easier for me to show the products beforehand and then while I'm doing the two you know while you're watching the tutorial I'll mention the products um, but you just won't see them so um, obviously I use the meat matte nude palette Garcia matte wood matte Lombardi and then matte sing so I used the three down the center and then matte sing I also use this Mac paint pot in Utterly Becoming, use any eye base of your choice. Eyeliner, now I used a darker brown on my upper lash line, and this is MAC. This is a PowerPoint eye pencil in Stubborn Brown. And then I used a warmer brown to line my lower lash line to give the look a little bit of dimension. And this is Costa Riche from MAC as well. You'll need your favorite mascara. I used the Bare Minerals Lash Domination for my upper lashes, and then your favorite bottom lash mascara, which I use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. You will need an eyelash curler. You will need a eye shading brush. I use the Sigma E55. You will need two blending brushes. I used the Sigma I use the Sigma E40 and then this blending brush, this tapered blending brush from BH Cosmetics. You'll also want to use a blending brush, mine's dirty because I just used it, and this is the MAC 217. And then whatever your favorite pencil brush is, and I, this is a Sephora Pro, this is the Smoky Liner Brush. So those are the products that you'll need to achieve this look. If you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then keep watching. I'm applying my MAC Paint Pot and Utterly Becoming all over my lid and I'm doing this from lash line to brow bone and basically this is going to give us a nice um, consistent canvas to work through. It's going to hide any of the veining or maybe any of the discolorations you may have in your eyelid. It's just going to give us a nice flat base to work with. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and the shade in matte Lombardi and I'm going to place this all over my lid from lash line to brow bone just to neutralize the shade of the paint pot. I'm doing this to both eyes from the inner corner to the outer corner and then all the way up to my brow bone. This will also act as our highlight shade. As you can see, sweeping all over the lid, no rhyme or reason to this. And then I'm going to take a tapered fluffy brush and a shade matte sing, and I'm going to pl place this right above the crease. This is going to be our transition shade. As you can see, I'm putting most of the product on the outer corner and then sweeping it inward um, using windshield wiper motions. Again, no rhyme or reason to this, you guys just getting it on there, buffing it in, again focusing the majority of the color on the outer corner and then working it to the inner corner. Back and forth, back and forth. Again, um, deepening, up the, deepening up the outer corner as you see fit. And then now I'm going to take the blend, my blending brush, my MAC 217 blending brush and the shade Matte Garcia and I am going to deepen up the outer portion of the crease. I'm placing the color in the outermost portion of the crease and then I'm just working my way in. Pat, 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 sweep, sweep, sweep. Again, you want to be somewhat precise in the placement of the color but as far as the blending goes, you're just kind of working the color in to place it at this point. Um, I'm not worried too much about precision. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other eye, again, deepening up the outer portion of that crease and then working the color inward. Um, I like to use patting motions on the outer corner just so I can get that shade placed right where I need it. And then I just sweep it inward to blend it in. 
again, just working it in. Here I went back in. I'm just kind of making sure the color um, and pigmentation is even on both eyes. And then I'm going in with a clean, tapered, fluffy brush, and then a little bit more of that matte sing, that transition shade. And I'm just blending the transition shade and the shade I use in the outer corner to get that seamless um, transition. You don't want it to look harsh. You don't want any harsh lines. So just no rhyme or reason to this, the same motion we use when applying the transition color. We're just kind of blending in um, the one shade into the next shade. And then back with that flat shader brush and the shade Matte Lombardi, I'm going back in and I'm lighting, um, I'm lightening up the inner corner of the eye and again just um, accenting my brow bone for a little more highlight. I just find this brings a lot of uh, light back into the look. And then I'm taking my um, Mac, I believe this is stubborn brown, and I'm just putting that um, sloppily on my lash line and then blending it out with the pencil brush. Um, I'm not too precise with this because you do take that pencil brush to blend it out, and that's where you want the precision to come through. And then just bringing that in, you know, pulling that into the inner corner. And I did this to both eyes, and then now I'm going in with the matte wood and my blending brush, and I'm just taking that darker color right there on the outer third of my eyelid and just deepening up the outer corner. I just find that I needed a little bit more dimension to the look and this added a nice little um, drama to the eye. And then now I'm just taking that matte Lombardi shade again and just adding a little more lightness to the inner corner. Now I'm taking my MAC eyeliner in Costa Riche and I'm lining the outer third of my lower lash line and then taking a little bit of that matte wood shade and blending it out. And here you just want to really blend, blend, blend. Take your time with this. Just blend, blend, blend. You want to make sure there aren't any um, harsh marks of demarcation. Blend, 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 blend. And when you think you haven't blend, blend enough, blend some more. And as you can see, I went back again and just blended it a little bit more. Now I went in with my Lash Domination uh, Mascara by Bare Minerals. We all know how to apply mascara. Just coating the lashes rather thick. thick. Um, I really love mascara, so I'm pretty particular about how I um, apply it. You just want to make sure that you're covering, um, coating every lash, um, really working from the root to the end of your lashes, um, really coating, making sure you coat every lash individually. And now I'm taking my Rimmel Lash Accelerator and I'm coating my bottom lashes. There you have it, lovies. That is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hoped it, hoped it was easy for you to follow. This is such a great palette. If you want something that's that has no shimmer, I would highly suggest picking up this palette. Um, I actually got mine on Hot Look last year. So if you're interested in buying this, you can, you know, check out Hot Look. You can check out the Bombs website. Also, um, I believe Kohl's. I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can get the Bomb at Kohl's. I've never seen it at my Kohl's, but I think you can pick it up there. I know I think I'm, I'm, I'm maybe 75% positive I've seen it on Kohl's' website. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.